Well, a group of executives out in Hollywood recently got a two-hour briefing on the Moscow Project. That's an effort to find and expose collusion between Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin. Actor Dean Cain is from L.A. He grew up up there, knows everybody, and, of course, <laughs> stars in and makes his own movies. He joins us here. Um, what, what is this? Uh, I'm going to go see the movie when it comes out. I mean, it's, I, it's, it's a, I can't imagine what it is. I mean, there's, there's a lot of people who are very upset that Donald Trump is president. Yeah. They will not accept it. Uh, and they will overturn any rock and even probably make up stories to, to find collusion at this point. And I, I want to, I think that Oliver Stone should probably direct it because he's pretty good at uh, revisionist well, history. Well, actually, in point of fact, I've talked to Oliver Stone about this. He doesesn't buy any of it, I don't think. If it's that far-fetched, no, then it's doesn't. really... No, he does Oliver Stone really thinks this... I mean, it. not to speak out of turn, but I don't think Oliver Stone believes this at all. Um, so I, you, I don't think anybody believes it. I mean, it's been so long, and how... Where's the, where, where's the proof? So you've made a movie on the Armenian genocide, and by the way, God bless you for doing that, because it's an important thing, I think, to remember and learn from. But you're having trouble getting it out there because why? Well, first of all, we had trouble in Glendale, California, which is a huge Armenian uh, population. The diaspora there, is, it's the second largest group of Armenians in the world. Outside, outside of Armenia, it's the first. It's the, it's the largest group. And they wouldn't let us advertise because they called it too political. And we ended up making a big stink about it, got media involved, and it's they ended up... too political? They say it's political, and we argue, and I argue completely, it's not political at all. It's a human rights story. There's no politics behind it. Is the Holocaust political? No. Right. And the problem is that our government hasn't recognized the Armenian genocide. 47 of our 50 states have, but our federal government hasn't, and it's because we, I think it's, I think it's because we have a, an air base in Turkey, and we're trying to keep things nice. And we've right, so it to, implicates the Ottomans, the Turks. The Turks. And speaking of foreign influence on our domestic politics, the government of, Tur the government of Turkey has an effect on decisions our policymakers make. Absolutely, and I think this is one of those situations. So I've been lo lobbying Congress the last couple of days to say, hey, look, look at this. What we're trying to say is, it, it, call it genocide. Acknowledge that it's genocide, because if you don't, Genocide denied is genocide continued, and it allows other things to be happening today in South Sudan, in Iraq, and in Syria uh, to the Christians there. It's happening now. So do you think the fact, I mean, no one ever says this, it wasn't just the Armenians being killed by the Ottoman Turks, it was a Christian minority being slaughtered by a Muslim majority. Do you absolute think that truth. makes it harder for people to acknowledge it was genocide? Uh, I think absolutely it does. And, they're not, and that's why they're not acknowledging what's going on today. What a shame. Well, I'm going to watch it, and I'm glad you made it. Dean thank Kane, you. thank you. Thanks, Tucker.